another video I showed these, how I made these. These are for the Tucson 2022 to 2025 Limited and may work on other vehicles because these are Kia and Hyundai connectors. And what I did is I ended up buying some of these wires and some of this extensions. I uh, put these together myself and I got a bunch of these if somebody wants to buy some of these to make your own. You'll, there'll be a link for that as well. So this is the kit you can buy. If there'll be a link for that I mentioned. And today I'm going to talk about how to connect trailer wiring. If you have existing trailer wiring on your car, how to add using these, a couple of these that you can buy, or if you want to make your own, look online, find them. So how this works is you need existing trailer wiring. And this is an example of what you would find on your car. You would see this trailer plug. You need to tap into that. So there's a left turn brake wire and a right turn brake wire. Well, basically what happens with trailer wiring is it converts five wires on your car. You have a left turn, a right turn, brake lights, parking lights, and a ground wire. So it takes five and puts them into four. So it has a left turn brake and a right turn brake. So that's what you can tap into to make this work on your car if you already have existing. So how you do that is you need to get some kind of connectors, however you want to connect to these existing wires on your trailer wiring harness here. These are posi taps. You can choose whatever you want. You can also use scotch locks or you can just open the wire up and attach it yourself and solder. So what you need to do is if you have or if you have some other way to do this, I recommend using this kind of connector, because if you ever want to remove it, you just unplug it and take it out. So in this case, you would cut this blue wire on one of these. You'd cut the center blue wire, and you're going to attach, on the left side, you're going to attach a wire to this blue wire that goes to, this is this wire would connect to your housing, your taillight housing. So this connects to the, to the housing. This wire you no longer need. So this goes, this is your existing brake light. So you're going to convert the brake light to work as a turn and brake by using your trailer wiring harness. So you would no longer use this other wire. Tape it up, cut it out of the way, however you like. It's pretty easy. Like I said, you tap into this left turn, run a wire, route it over to your housing, connect it to this, plug it in, done. Do the same thing on the right-hand side. On the right-hand side, there's a right turn brake light wire. Do the same thing on that side. There you go. Now you've converted your brake lights to work as brake and turns. This did not work on my car. I have a 2025 Hyundai Limited, Tucson Limited. I did this using posi taps because they're easy to remove. You just unscrew this wire if you don't lo no longer like it. Take it out of there. Bam, no longer there. That's what I like about posi taps. But it did not work on my car. Technology is pretty good. Now it can sense when you're tapping into something and it says, hey, you're towing something. And even though I'm not. So it disabled all these cool electronics, you know, the rear sensors and the side sensors because it thinks you're towing. So I took it back out. Like I mentioned, unscrews really easy. I unplug these. Bap, bap, I'm done like in 15 minutes of removing it, which is why I went with this because this, this system doesn't. But there are some that don't have all those electronics in their car. And it would work fine. So it's up to you. If you already have existing trailer wiring, go for this. If not, uh, you're certainly welcome to get this kit from me. This is plug and play. I have another video, as I mentioned. But anyway, pretty cool set setup. Go for it. Thanks for watching.